guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new vlog I have a really fun one today actually i have been so eager to get to a pumpkin patch this year and i've managed to find a dog friendly one that isn't too far from us so that's our initial plan and then we're just going to see where the day takes us and speaking of the dog i am actually partnering with tails.com in today's video so if you guys have your own dog maybe you know someone who does stay tuned for more on that because i have an amazing offer for you guys to get a month's free tailored dog food and 75% the rest of the range too which i'll have more information on that in just a second for now i'm just finishing off my well getting ready for the day i'm actually just starting getting ready for the day putting some makeup on i need to get dressed but we're up bright and early this morning because i want to get there for opening for a couple of reasons really firstly i want to avoid any queues at the pumpkin patch but also the weather is forecast to go a bit south <laughs> later on today it's meant to um start tipping it down later so i thought we'd get out bright and early head over avoid the rain avoid the queues and they've also got breakfast there as well so we might get like a sausage sandwich bacon sandwich something like that you guys remember i put on my autumn bucket list that i definitely wanted to visit pumpkin patch this year and i'm so glad we've managed to find time to do it because we didn't manage to last year and I felt deprived. So yeah, so that is the plan. Get there nice and early, avoid the rain, um, and have just a fun, cozy autumn day. He always has a good sniff, don't you? <laughs> Sitting patiently. <laughs> he always has a good sniff of the uh, delivery box every month, don't you? Let's tell everyone about your food. As I mentioned earlier, this part of today's video is sponsored by Tails.com. If you've not come across it before, it is a personalized dog food subscription service and it's tailored specifically to your dog. He's literally got his paw in my hand and giving me kisses. <laughs> Like, please give me the food. After you complete a short survey online and create your dog's profile showing their specific needs, Tails.com's algorithms along with vets and nutritionists essentially customize your dog's very own recipe from over a million different possible combinations. So you really can have confidence knowing that your dog is getting exactly what it needs and it also adapts as your dog ages as well. I have Barney's daily feeding plan here which essentially has all the information. When I completed the survey I noted what Barney's breed is, his weight, his age, his lifestyle, also the fact that he has higher energy and is a very active kind of dog. He has at least a couple of hours off lead walk every single day and I have also noted to be mindful of his digestion because when he was younger he seemed to have a bit of an upset tummy he doesn't anymore so his completed profile together with the scoop that they give you helps maintain weight control we give him four scoops of food on this setting 014 so they give you this and you set it to whatever they request for your dog. You can also note their flavor preferences. So sometimes with certain flavors, Barney can be a bit fussy or equally if you wanted to avoid any certain flavors, whether it be for allergy reasons or anything like that. And then once that's all complete, Tails.com have a really handy, very convenient subscription service that delivers the food straight to your door every single month. I think it's a bit more regular if you have a puppy every couple of weeks. So it's hassle-free, you'll never run out of your food again. They do dry food, wet food, treats, even poo bags. So you're always going to be set with your dog's supplies and what's more you can also pause it or cancel it at any time should you need to do so i do have a great offer right now for you guys to take advantage of so if you've been thinking about making the switch now is the time to do so by using my link that i will leave in the description box along with the discount code you can get one month of free tailored dog food and 75 percent off the rest of the range as well. All there is to pay is a one pound delivery charge and that is for up to two dogs as well. So without further ado, let's get this dog fed. He is very much asking to be fed right now. And then let's head to the pumpkin patch. Sweet please. 
Say B. this morning I was like I'm surprised Tom's agreed to do this however you've just got here and said you always yawn on my vlog <laughs> no I think it's like a nervous thing when your oh, camera comes tired for it. <laughs> Tom had a late night last night um what did you say smart isn't it it's a cute one so this is called the little cow shed it's in or it's near Congleton we got here bright and early there's loads of pumpkins left I was a bit worried that we might be a bit late to the game to be honest with you um there's a little sandwich shop, ice cream parlour. I think the little cow shed themselves do, yeah, can you see at the end, the fresh milk milkshakes. Yeah. They do loads of different like bottled flavoured milkshakes. I think first port of call before put any potential rain hits, we should go out, pick up some pumpkins. I've seen some white ones. Um, we've got the dog, Barney. Hi, bud. He's got his pumpkin bandana on. <laughs> From Redbubble we got that. Anyway, let's grab our phone and keys. And let's go pumpkin picking. Let me see your neckerchief, let me see. May you always find your way to higher ground. May you always keep your head held up high Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Just the sight of you when I'm at my weakest point Makes a world of difference, oh you make me strong Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Order in a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart as It's cold, I don't know why I was expecting it to be hot Oh, that's like ice cream, isn't it? We've just ordered a full chocolate, fat, full, fat milk. full fat milk, um, chocolate milkshake. Insane. And it's all kind of like self-service as well, which is cool. We've just got a um, couple of sausage sandwiches on the way. We've picked our pumpkins. Rating out of 10. That's so good. Seven? I think at least a nine. We've got um they've got a milkshake special actually toffee apple which I was tempted for, but I think I would prefer the um chocolate one. There's biscotti, banoffee, cappuccino, uh, oh bakewell tart, raspberry, nutty. Hmm, delish. Loads of dogs here dressed up as well, which is amazing. And kids. That's quite cool. Oh, this looks good. I've got hash brown with mine as well. I'm gonna go for a dog walk after this. Whilst it is sunny and then maybe on route back go via either Wilms though or a farm shop maybe. How chunky that hash brown is. Are you ready for a little taste test? We've got these two sweet treats on route out as well. They're from a local bakery called Layers. And then this is a, a smoky. That's yours. Cookie smothered in chocolate. And then I got a Malteser Ghost. Do you like Maltesers? Yeah. Do you like um, Horlicks? Yeah. Yeah. Let's have a Horlicks tonight. That's right. Got a new gopher. <laughs> Oh. Is it like chocolate and Malteser? The middle bit is like melted 
Maltese spread. That's what it is, the Maltese spread that they do. Mm. Kind of like a Nutella. That's thick white chocolate, isn't it? I know, really thick. That is thick. I'm surprised you like that white chocolate. <clears throat> oh no, are we going to make a mess? That's a bit ridiculous. Is it two cookies? How do I even eat that? Put it in your mouth. Oh no, it's the same dog. I was going to say another dog. Right, so they're going for a dog walk, but they've taken the pumpkin costume off. Monster, that, isn't it? This is mummy. I'm quite particular with my cookies. Like those ones that you get from the supermarket. Mm. You know, like you get four in a bag from the bakery section. I'm not fussed for them. What? I like a biscuit cookie, like a Maryland cookie, or them Fox's ones, or a freshly baked brookie. You know, where it's like a thick, chunky. Well, it's not There's a cookie, is it? Big, well, it is, but all like a cookie then, but big chunks of like chocolate in the middle. You know, like full squares of chocolate rather than just little chocolate chips. Mm. Okay, a bit more chocolate milk. You're like a child having chocolate milk. Mm. Mm. Right, should we go for a walk, Barney? He's like, that can't be my morning walk, surely. <laughs> You're brand new now. I'm surprised how much I like this chocolate now. I'd never have got this. No. Nope. Mm -mm. I love it. That's a mug, that's ball. Shall we? Let's go for our little walkies, my little outfit for the day. I'll share it with you. This is old from Primark. Got my hoodie on from Abercrombie & Fitch. My new check shirt it's not even a jacket this is just a shirt but i thought i'd layer it up as a bit of a jacket this is from matalan and then my lululemon leggings and my dewberry boots um just because i thought it's going to be muddy and i was right so are we ready let's go adorable is this doormat it's 15 pounds or 14.99 they've got quite a few different designs actually but i love that one i'm very very tempted there's all of the christmas stuff out already got all these cute stockings i really like the traditional colors when it comes to christmas like reds greens love that one all of their christmas stuff oh they've got some autumn bits how cute is that pumpkin? I love that. Let's see how much it is. $12.99. I'm in Knot Cuts, by the way. Um, it's just like a cute little garden centre, not too far from us. And we've got like woodland theme. I actually got a few decorations from here last year. Um, I really like these big pine cones. If you remember from last year, my kind of theme is like champagne gold, antique brass. So like this kind of a star, $4.99, where it's got both metals is perfect, but it's a bit too early to be buying Christmas stuff. I don't know, maybe I'll have to do do another trip back here. I'm really tempted to do like a green theme this year or just like a pop of green because I got a few like burgundy baubles last year, just standout ones. And I might just get a few forest green ones this year just to add to the tree. These are all like sort of 4 99 each, these baubles. And then if you want to bring autumn to your tree, they've got all these like little wooden leaves, maple leaves, these orange glittery ones, gold really really pretty and i feel like that fits quite well with the kind of woodland theme to do something like these wooden decorations how much are these yeah 4.99 i guess that's the kind of like general price point 
for all of their baubles. So cute. Manny, do you like it? I had to put this over his nose because you were pulling in excitement, weren't you? And no one wants to pet a wet dog because you've been swimming. I love this idea. Personalised advent calendar. Is there a Freya? Probably not. Oh, there is a Freya. Tempted, but no. And that's my brother's name, George. Again, like all these traditional kind of like burgundy and forest green. I love this little guy, 12 99 I feel like we're whizzing through this a bit too quickly. Tom's gone already. I think I might pop back here with um, Barney closer to Christmas at some point. Love this little matching set as well. Double oven gloves. Uh, fi oh gosh, 15 99 And then the tea towels are also 15.99. What is it, Barney? Is it a rabbit? Is that your friend? He's absolutely, what's the word, transfixed. This is what he's like every time we go in pets at home, when we see the, oh look at him, stretching out. They're so cute. They're quite small, those ones. Oh, hello little cutie. You know when you touch the glass, it always makes me think of Finding Nemo. You know when it's like boom, boom, boom. <laughs> But yeah, if we take him to pets at home, he just does this with the gerbils, the rabbits, and he, like hamsters, he's just, <laughs> his tail's going. We're just not quite sure if he wants to play with them or eat them. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out. We could probably take this off now. Now that you know that daddy's here. It was just, he was starting to pull when you went with us. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he will like this bit over here. Look at all the little... I was gonna say, are they gerbils? Guinea pigs, guinea pigs. Gerbils are tiny, aren't they? Plus it says massive guinea pig world there. Here's the dog Christmas section. Oh my God, look at the size of this. 19 pounds, mind you, that's the same price as his big Ikea dog and he loves that. Cute little moose, oh no, reindeer. So we've just, whoa, that sun's just come out. It's lovely. Um, we thought we'd sit down and have a bite to eat. Maybe just get a drink or are you thinking something to eat? I just have to point out that this is the first time ever in the 10 years of knowing Thomas that he's ordered a full fat Coke. There has to be a reason for this. Does it have anything to do with last night? Going out, being rough. Bit of sugar. Is that what you need? I've just got myself an oat milk cappuccino, decaf, of course, because that's all I ever tend to have these days. I might have like the odd caffeinated drink, but otherwise, decaf it is for me. I just can't get over this. It's very unusual. I'm not even a fan of a Pepsi Max and that. Yeah, that's why I just can't understand why you've chosen it because it just tastes so different to a Diet Coke. I feel like people that only drink full fat Coke probably think the same for Diet Coke. They probably think it tastes horrendous. 39% of your recommended sugar in that. It's only 42 calories. What? Oh. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, and this is 330 mil. <laughs> Oh, that is just so different. Because then with Pepsi as well, they've got a diet Pepsi, haven't they? So their Pepsi Max must be the equivalent of their Coke Zero, which tastes like Coke, but no sugar. Yeah, it's just going into stuff like so much detail. Like. He's like, shut up and let me just enjoy this full fat Coke in the sunshine. <laughs> well, I'm going to enjoy my oat milk latte. No, cappuccino. You just let Barney off the lead. I don't know if. Anyone else has a dog that is just far easier off the lead. He just pulls when he's on the lead. Whereas if he's off, he tends to stick with us, which is quite good. Aren't you, bud? Oh, nice. It's lovely, isn't it? No Christmas purchases made today. However, 
I have got a few bits. Yesterday I went to Aldi. Middle of Aldi. Oh, it's middle of Lidl, isn't it? Aldi special bites. I've got a few bits. Sorry? What, middle of Aldi? <laughs> I'll show you those when I get back. And then we could do some pumpkin carving. What are we doing for dinner tonight? Kabida. There's a place not too far from us. You'll have to go out and get it though, because I don't deliver. I plaited my hair last night, so I've not curled it. What do you think? It's got like more of a natural wave to it. Okay. Thanks. Why did you? What? It's lovely. Sure. Who are you talking about? Oh, Norma, like Jess and Norma. Yeah. I thought you meant your mum, Norma. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. That is Jess, Jessica. I love a day like this. We went to, I should have vlogged it really, but we went to, um, where was it last week we went? Uh, Ch Chatsworth House. Ch Chatsworth House. And then we went over to the village Bakewell afterwards. Had a nice Bakewell chart, but that's a lovely day out. We've just got back. Came home to this parcel, which I thought was quite cool, from L'Oreal. True Match, which I haven't tried. I haven't tried True Match before. Um, but it's a little DIY with a palette of create your own foundation. I thought that was quite, quite cool and quite creative. Um, but yes, we have just got back. I thought I'd sit down and share with you some of the Aldi bits that I picked up the other day. Oh, also, I had this arrive. Ah! And I'll probably have one of these tomorrow, maybe. But um, I wanted to stock up on some Nespresso pods. So I got my usual gold decaf pods and then I got a couple of the purple box I don't know if I've ever had the purple ones before but um yeah I like I said most of the time I do have a decaf but they brought out a new flavor that I wanted to try in pumpkin spice cake which I thought sounded lovely and I also got these hotel shop bits. I said to Tom like let's not go overboard at the farm shop let's not get too much sweet treats or cakes and stuff like that because I knew I had these at home waiting for us tonight. I have already <laughs> opened up a couple of these. So these little chocolates that they do are three for 12 pounds. So I've gone very seasonal with this one, which is Russell and Crunch set with a few different flavors. And then I also got apple strudel, which I tried one of. And let me tell you that one was delicious. And then I also got pumpkin pie. Of the two, I probably prefer the apple one. And then if we go for a hotel chocolate hot chocolate tonight, finally got my hands on the new peanut butter flavor. I say no, I don't know if it's new, but I've never had it before. Um, I had the maple and pecan one, which was delicious, but I really wanted to try the peanut butter one. The Halloween Bites H box, again, loads of different flavors. I really like a box of chocolates. You know when there's just loads of different flavors? And I maybe just have like two or three at a time, or four or five in an evening. <laughs> Let's not lie. Um, but like with the coffee during the day, to just have like one or two to like snack on throughout the day. I feel like that's very much festive times. That reminds me, and maybe that's why I like a box of chocolates. But yeah, something like this with loads of different flavors, I just love. Anyway, I'll show you the Aldi bits. These are for breakfast. Pumpkin spice bagels, 18 milk chocolate star toppers. So for when we make our hot chocolates, to pop a bit of squirty cream and these stars on top. They had white chocolate ones, but they were in the shape of unicorns. So I went for the, the milk chocolate stars. And then, oh, I also saw this, which I've never seen in there before. Reed diffusers, they had a few different scents. And I think they look like, there's a, a brand in John Lewis that do some very similar to this that I don't know if they're duping. I mean, we all know Aldi loves a dupe. Begins with W. I feel like I need to find it. It's called Home Center by Wax Lyrical. I knew it would be on with W. Wax Lyrical. Yeah, it just reminds me of that. But anyway, I got it in the scent Fur Baby, Vanilla and Tonka. They had a few different ones to choose from. Now, I'm not a fan of the bottle, I'm not gonna lie, but I thought you could pop this in like a little bud vase or even just like an old diffuser, the one that's empty. Helps to fight packed odors. Compliments. And then at 99p, they had these cute autumn boxes. And considering we're a bit sniffly at the minute although we are coming out the other end of it now i thought it'd be good to just grab a box of tissues they had a couple of different designs this was like the haunted house one apparently with a little dog on the front i thought was cute i also got a couple of their acacia wood kitchen bits 
Um, they do the utensils at $1.99, which are really good. I've got a couple of those already, but I got this kitchen roll holder. I also picked up one of their recipe stands, which again, I thought looked lovely. These are all very much Zara home dupes. So you could put a nice cooking book, like open on there, on a kitchen island or something. I thought that was lovely. I also got some cushion covers. Again, they had loads of different like designs and colors. I thought I'd just go for the plain kind of hessian jute um, design. We've got currently some autumn pillows when autumn is finished. Rather than get rid of those cushions or put them back into storage, I thought I would just put, keep them out, but just pop a plain cushion cover over them. This was $4.99 and I thought this was such a steal. They had loads of different designs. I just loved their Hello there, pumpkin. I know Next did one very, very similar, except the pumpkin was a very bright orange, like a neon orange. So I actually prefer this one and it is cheaper. And then next up, I think this one was 20 or 24 pounds and it is a dog bed. They had a couple of colors, different colors available. I went for the gray and rust kind of terracotta check pattern with the beige interior. And it's just a nice, comfy, cozy dog bed. Nice and soft, this one. I feel like the one that we've got in our like cinema room down in the basement, it's too small for him. I wanted him to love it, but it's just too small. I got that one from Next and they only did the one size. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably donate that to his doggy daycare and then just give this one to him and just have it down there so that he has got his own bed down there. Is everything that I got from Aldi. I might go downstairs now. It has just got so overcast and so dark that I am so grateful we went out first thing this morning. I feel like I'm going to carve into the pumpkin. Tom's having a, a little snooze. I feel like he needed it after a late night last night. Roast some pumpkin seeds and just have a really nice chilled afternoon. I think we're gonna start a new series as well. It's called The Watcher on Netflix. I think it's a series based around a um, new family that moves into a new neighborhood and they um, find that they are being stalked or watched by a watcher, someone watching them, a voyeuristic type theme to the show, whereby um, it becomes a bit sinister. So it's kind of verging on like thriller, horror, without being too scary. I really find with me, it's like little things in life. And for me, pumpkin picking in autumn with a little farm shop visit in the mix and some wholesome yummy treats is just the perfect kind of day for a weekend for me so yeah let's go carve in to that pumpkin the rain is coming oh my goodness it's so windy out there too Just about to start pumpkin carving, but I also just got this, which I thought I would mention, because I thought this is a really good deal, actually. I think this is available from the end of October. It's the M&S Beauty Advent Calendar. They do one every year, and the deal that they do is, the products are worth 300 pounds, and you can get this box for 40 pounds when you spend 30 pounds on like clothes, home, makeup, in-store, online. Um, so yeah, it's a really good deal, and I thought I would just do a little sneak peek unboxing of it to not ruin it for you if you are thinking about getting it, but just give you an insight as to what might be included. Also, how nice is this packaging? Oh, there's even a, is there a drawer here with more numbers? Yeah. I won't ruin number 25. Let's do number two. From Origins, the Frothy Face Wash. Let's do four, because that's my birthday, 4th of Jan. Ooh, Philip Kingsley, I love their stuff. For, you, for your hair, if you need a good shampoo and conditioner, Philip Kingsley. This is their weightless shampoo. Let's go with number 20. <gasps> this is one of my favorite dry shampoos, the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day. I absolutely love this one. It's got the advanced clean technology. So as well as making it feel fresher in the moment, it does actually clean your hair too. I also got this from Aldi, which was in the fridge. So I thought I'd show it to you. I'm not going to have it tonight, but how nice that's some pumpkin and pine nuts. This is going to be a solo dinner one night maybe if Tom is out late or out for dinner with work I am going to be having this this week That's what 
you can do by the way if you don't know what to do with your leftover pumpkins after Halloween just take them to like the woodland area or if you've got a garden with wild animals then it's um it's good and healthy for them as long as it's not mouldy and gross but depends how early you do it I guess let's see if we can get some inspo from Pinterest of just a good classic jack-o'-lantern Halloween carved pumpkin. That really is simple. <laughs> good for Halloween, nice and simple, but I think I'm just gonna do something similar to that with just triangle eyes. Cause there's something about you and you know. So I've just lined the baking sheet. Um, with some greaseproof paper and I'm just going to pop some olive oil, salt and pepper um, see if I've got paprika, I'm not sure if I have, if I have I'll add some of that on as well and then just bake it for about 10 minutes or so spooky pumpkin I feel like it is got a bit brighter outside so I feel like I'll need to share it with you when it's dark but it looks so cool I'm pretty happy with that just nice and simple nice and easy um, it's huge as well and that will sit on our porch for Halloween I'm only ever in the bath for about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. I like to watch a YouTube video or two and then get out before I get too wrinkly, basically. So yeah, I got sent these from Pixie, these volume masks. They are three, a set of three sheet masks. Instant smoothing and volumizing effect sheet mask. Botanical collagen and peptides help moisturize and rejuvenate for healthier looking skin. I do really like this. Um, toner that I use all the time is from Pixie, this glow tonic. If you wanted a Halloween vlog, you came to the right place. Has anyone watched that horror movie in the cinema called Smile? There's no chance I'd go and watch that in the cinema. Maybe if it came out, or I should say when it comes out. Um, but we went to watch the Don't Worry Darling, which I loved. That was the last time I went to the cinema. Um, but yeah, that Smile one, I, showed a trailer to Tom and he was like, absolutely not, <laughs> especially at the cinema. It's time you let your guard down. 
I'm looking very shiny after that face mask. I just put on my skincare as well, the Skin and Me serum that I've got. Um, but I've just tried these pumpkin seeds. Mmm, that crunch. I'm going to pop them in a container and have them to snack on like today, tonight, tomorrow. I would say I maybe went a little too heavy because I did sweet and salty, added some sugar in the end. A little too heavy on the salt. Could have done with a little bit more sugar. But guys, that is gonna go ahead and conclude today's vlog. I'm just gonna sit, watch, um, Tom's just getting into comfies now, or just showering, just getting into his PJs. And we're going to finally start the watcher. So I'll have to update you guys in a future vlog maybe on our thoughts of what that is like. So yeah. Let me know if you've seen it or anything else that you've seen recently that you'd recommend. I'm just try and think if there's anything that we've seen. I did actually do a list of things that I want to see and seen that um, I thought are worthy of mentioning. We watched Devil in Ohio, which is kind of like a bit of a mystery, cult, satanic type series which actually we really enjoyed a bit again on that verging of horror without being too scary um sins of our mother which is based on a true story around a mother who essentially <clears throat> kind of abandoned her kids let's be honest again it's a series that one and then the capture two we caught up on because we watched the first season i think that's bbc a bbc watch i can't they're very moorish these <laughs> i can't stop myself but again, that's probably about six parts, maybe, something like that. And it's, um, if you saw the first one, it's all about, like, CCTV and how they, what's the word that they use? Cohere, cohere, cohesion? No. Um, I'm trying to think of the word they use. That, it's not conspiracy, it's not cohesion, something like that, where they essentially the police force and the um detectives use a certain method to doctor um cctv footage to basically convict criminals that maybe there isn't enough evidence for so if you remember that season one season two is now fully on um bbc if you want to catch up but yeah that, that was quite good that's it i think so i'm gonna give barney his dinner tonight well probably gonna wait for about an hour or so before i give that to him don't forget to um check them out via the link in my description box and use my discount code which i will leave on screen and linked below for you so thank you to them thank you to you guys for watching today's video i hope you guys have enjoyed spending the day with us do give me a thumbs up if you like this video it really helps out supporting my channel as it does if you would stick around and subscribe and yeah i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys i think he had the bike